All right, so I wanted to do a follow-up video on the EEV mate. Uh, most recently, um, Kevin's incorporated a 9-volt battery holder on the back, which makes this thing even more convenient um, than having the rechargeable battery supply. Um, you can hold it with one hand now. Um, really comfortable to hold. It's not very cumbersome, so you can hold now. You know, uh, if it's a, a bolt-on EEV, you can hold it in your hand and watch it, and then hold your EEV mate in the other. I'll keep this uh, anchor... Uh, battery supply just as a backup um, in the case um, all this stuff fits great in the Klein case by the way the little hard case um, the long one um, but at any rate I wanted to do another uh, demonstration but this time with a magnetic EEV um, I've got 300 psi um, coming into the bottom of this EEV um, so right now it's in the closed position to move it we're simply just going to turn it on I don't know if the camera will pick up um, the display here but on the display, it shows how many steps you're at. So right now we're at zero because we just powered it on. To open this valve, all we have to do is just pull down on this toggle switch. And you can start to kind of hear the uh, nitrogen flowing through that valve. And then to close it back off, we just simply hold the toggle switch back up. And on the display here, it'll show you how many steps you're at. So now we're back at zero. The valve's fully closed again. Um, so right now, this is by far my favorite tool on this truck. And I have a lot of cool tools, but man, there's just something special about this. Um, I really enjoyed using it. It's definitely paid for itself several times over. I actually had another one before this one, um, and it, it fell out of the truck. I had a, a utility truck at the time, and one of the side boxes came open, and I lost my EV mate. But um, literally the next day, I was like, I got to get another one because it's been uh, such a help um, to have on the truck. So if you don't have one, strongly recommend getting you one. Um, I'll put the link to... Uh, getting one of these things in the description down below. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, otherwise, you can uh, reach out to Kevin directly. Um, his email will be uh, down there in the description as well. But uh, anyways, hope you have a great day.